Hey guys, what's up? I am here to chat with you guys about the holidays, which is crazy to think about, right? And we're already talking about the holidays, but the reality is Amazon has really pushed planning for this ahead of time due to just everything else going on in their warehouses, obviously in the world, right? So we're planning ahead of time. So that's why today we are talking about quarter four, talking about the holidays specifically. So as we talked about, maybe a few weeks ago, Prime Day has made its move to October 2020, which is insane, right? So that means we are going to have Prime Day followed by Black Friday, followed by Cyber Monday. So crazy, crazy times. And on top of that, you've got that holiday uh, shopping rush in December. So it's insane, right? So what does that mean for you as a brand on Amazon? How can you best prepare for quarter four with just all of this going on with all of this, you know, just different situations, and everything like that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So the first thing I want to cover is some exclusive information that we have for you guys, just talking about how to best prepare uh, for the holidays, right? So just like Prime Day, we have exclusive dates and information for you guys regarding just how to prepare and when to send an inventory, everything like that. So these dates are specifically meant for Black Friday and just the holiday rush shopping. So for your FBA inventory, you must have your Black Friday inventory and your holidays inventory sent into Amazon by October 22nd, right? So that's when it should be inbound in transit to Amazon. By November 5th, that's when we want it to be in receiving at Amazon, all checked in, received, right? That's what we want. Now, Amazon does give these dates to you guys because, you know, something to consider. I know we we actually deal with a lot of sellers that are like, oh, well, our warehouse is right down the street from an Amazon fulfillment center. So it only takes them like three days to check inventory in or what have you. Um, you know, we deal with a lot of people actually that go in with that mindset about these days. And one thing I do want you guys to consider when you are setting your inventory in is, it's not just you sending in your inventory, right? It's everybody is sending an inventory. Every brand that sells on Amazon is sending in, in inventory. So maybe you are in a situation where yes, you know, maybe you have a quicker transit to Amazon, whether it's because of where your warehouses are at or what have you, still make extra time for it guys. Still take these dates serious because everyone on Amazon is sending inventory in at the same time. Their warehouses are super overloaded. So it's crucial that you guys take those dates seriously. So again, October 22nd is when your holiday inventory should be shipped in. And November 5th is when it should be in receiving at the warehouses. So obviously bringing that up now, it seems a little bit strange, right? Because again, we're it's only August 12th. But the reality is, guys, I know a lot of you have to order that inventory for the holidays. So this is great because it's going to give you time to sit, send that order into your manufacturers, get your products made, ready to rumble for the holidays in particular. Now, when it comes to deals and coupon clipping, so August 17th, that's when in your deals tab, really pay attention to this, guys, in your deals tab, you're going to start to see seven-day deal options, lightning deal options. You will also, starting August 17th, be available or be uh, be able, be able, that, that's how I should say it, be able to schedule your coupon clippings, right? So that's super exciting getting that scheduled out. It's going to be great, right? So that all starts August 17th. So five days away, guys, five days away. So make sure you guys are checking your deals tab. So seven day deals, lightning deals, those are a really great opportunity for the holidays. Um, really pay attention to that. And then just so you guys know, Amazon, when they offer those options to you, they're going to give you a very broad list of when that will be. Our recommendation, honestly, especially if it's on your number one product, book it, right? Book that lightning deal. You can always cancel it if it doesn't fit into your budget or what have you, but book it because not all of you are going to get this as an opportunity. So take that opportunity serious, especially those seven day deals. Those are such a cool opportunity during the busiest time of the year. So take that as a really, really awesome opportunity, right? And then September 18th, that is going to be the cutoff, right? That's the cutoff by the time you need to have everything scheduled out, right? So Amazon is giving us a month to make sure that we have all of our lightning deals scheduled out, our seven day, seven day deals scheduled out, and our coupon clippings, right? So I know I'm running through these. I'm going to comment them like I always do. Um, on the video so that you guys have that information. So again, August 17th, five days away. 
They are going to open it up for you guys to be able to schedule out seven day deals, lightning deals, and coupon clippings. September 18th, that's when all of that closes. You will no longer be able to schedule out coupon clippings, lightning deals, or seven day deals for the holidays. So be ready to rumble, have a plan, start planning today, right? So coupon criteria, always like to, you know, talk to you guys about this. So self seller powered coupon clippings. This means you guys are setting up the coupon clippings. Um, so the product must have one to four reviews and must have a 2.5 star rating or higher. You must be offering between five to 80% off. And that must be a dollar off amount or percentage off amount, whatever works best for you guys. So, you know, again, guys, as far as percentage off amount, what our team would suggest, quite honestly, I like to stay below 30% off because if you go higher than 30% off, our team has seen that unfortunately that eliminates um, the possibility of a customer being able to leave a review. And I mean, one thing I love about quarter four is you get an influx of customers, which will increase your chances of gaining more reviews, right? So if you completely eliminate the odds of them being able to leave a review, I see that as more of a bummer. So, um, you know, as far as our plans, I personally think best to stay below 30% off, um, either dollar off amount or percentage off um, to make sure they can still leave that review because that is really important also through this process. Um, super important you guys have this all planned out. And quite frankly, I would make sure you guys have coupon clippings going from the day before Black Friday. That's usually what our team does all the way up until Christmas Eve right? You want to have some deal going. You want to have something running during that whole time because the amount of traffic that is on Amazon during this time is huge, right? It's ginormous. So it's really important that you guys take advantage of it. Give customers offers that they cannot deny that they need to take advantage of right now. And that's when we kind of talk about best practices, right? What do I need to do? So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've got inventory in there, right? So if you guys are unsure about how much inventory to set in, you know, our best practices, look what happened last year, right? What did you do last year, right? And I want to see basically as far as, you know, what you did last year, what, we want to double that, right? Maybe not double it. Maybe we want to 20% higher, whatever we want to do. That's the inventory we want to send in, right? So the, the reality is I don't have a straight answer because you guys are all in such different situations. I can't say, yeah, send X in because that's not the reality, right? You need to go based off of your history, based off of your current sales and what we basically want to, Basically what we want to prepare for is there is going to be an influx of traffic between probably a 20% increase to a 50% increase. We've seen it range in there. So that's really what you guys want to be on the lookout for. Now, if you guys are a part of inner circle or if you guys are full service, obviously we can help get involved a little bit more there with helping you guys predict that inventory. Now um, that's step one, because you want to make sure you don't sell out during the busiest time of year, right? It's, it's critical to stay in stock. Um, the next thing I would say is we want to plan ahead, right? So, you know, you guys heard me talk about all these different deals, coupon clippings, all this stuff, but we want to make sure we're planning it out, right? For a few reasons, right? So one, we want to plan it out because with Amazon uh, discounts, coupon code, or sorry, promotional codes, coupon clippings, um, they uh, customers can combine them, right? So one thing our team has found that planning it out in a promotional calendar really prevents any of that overlap that we want to try to avoid, right? I don't want to give a customer 70% off, 80% off because they're able to combine different things. I We want to try to avoid that. So that's one way of doing it is create a promotional calendar that has everything set up. When you set up your coupon clippings, your lightning deals, your whatever, everything squared away, you know where everything is at, okay? So that's one reason. Another reason is, is it holds you accountable. Right. If you notice, oh, I have a promotion running for this product, this product, this product, but not that product, it's going to hold you accountable. It's going to remind you, oh, I need to make sure I'm covering my whole catalog. So we just think it's that accountability factor that makes sure you're not on autopilot lit during the busiest time of the year. Right. And, you know, lastly, guys, as far as why we recommend bringing in that promotional calendar is, you know, it reminds you, right? So lightning deals is a really great example. I want to be awake during my lightning deals, watching to make sure that we don't sell through that lightning deal too fast because you can always increase the rev, uh, not revenue, the units that are involved with it. So it keeps you up to date with that information as well. So those are really, really great way, or sorry, a uh, 
lost my train of thought there. Promotional calendar is really a great way to make sure you're holding yourself accountable, make sure you're executing on those different opportunities, right? And then lastly, guys, um, and you know, this is actually something we're talking about with our inner circle members uh, next week is just making sure you're using your external assets, uh, you know, for this whole time, right? And in different ways, obviously, right? And again, if you're part of Inner Circle or you're a full service member, you know, we are going to talk about specifics with you guys. But, you know, as far as how to use those external assets, you should be using the ones, obviously, that are your, your strengths. But you should also be, you know, filtering it in because we feel like a lot of you give us the feedback of, I don't want to send my email list to Amazon, or I don't want to send um, my Facebook audience to Amazon because it's, you know, going to take away from my website, right? We don't want you guys to think of it that way, right? Because there, there are ways to still execute on these different external assets without hurting your website sales, right? So there's a few ways we can go about this. So one way we can go about it is if you guys are just, no, I'm against it. I'm not sending traffic to Amazon. One piece of advice I have for you is send that traffic to Amazon, maybe about December 23rd or 22nd. Reason why is you most likely are not going to be able to beat Amazon shipping. Um, people are trying to get those Christmas presents ordered. So that's one big piece of advice I have for you is send that traffic around the 22nd, 23rd, send it to Amazon because customers are probably more likely to purchase from Amazon closer to Christmas because they can get their shipments a lot faster than you guys can most of the time. So that's one piece of advice that we always give clients because that is really something we've seen where it will really increase your Amazon sales and a sale on Amazon is better than no sale at all is kind of our best advice there. Now, I also think it's always important to, you know, mix it up with your list just in general. The reason why is there are some people that are just much more comfortable purchasing on Amazon, right? So knowing that they have that option, knowing that they have deals on Amazon as well is really important. So another way you guys can also break it up is maybe your email list is just for the website. Maybe your Facebook audience is for Amazon, right? Just finding different assets that work with those different platforms is also another way to go about it. And then lastly, as you guys know, this is something we talk about quite a bit is continue to use those Amazon customer lists through uh, Amazon, right? So this is just a fulfillment report. And what you're able to do is you're able to grab that customer information as well as their address in Facebook. A lot of the time is able to find them. Now, obviously, that's definitely more of a gray area strategy. So definitely use it wisely. And, you know, it's your business. It's your choice. But that is something that is an option for those of you guys that really want to keep Amazon and your business or your I'm sorry, your website separate. Right. So those are a few options for you guys. Now, kind of rambled on a little bit there kind of covered a lot of topics there. Um, so if you guys have questions specifically about quarter four, please reach out to our team. We're definitely here to support you guys. We have so many different things that we're here to offer you, to provide you that support, to make sure you guys are ready for the busiest time of year. So reach out to our team by going to turnkeyproductmanagement.com slash call. We'll be more than happy to chat with you guys just about those different options for quarter four and what you guys need to be doing to execute on the biggest time of year. But other than that, guys, that's all I have for you. Again, I'm going to post those dates uh, in the comment section so that you guys have them. But other than that, if you have questions, let our team know and I'll see you guys next week.